Hi guys, it's John here, and this is day one of my daily check-in vlogs. So I have the questions here on my computer screen, and I'm going to read them off and give you how my day went. This is day one for the 18th of July, 2013. Okay, so we're going to start with my morning fasting blood sugar. And basically, a fasting blood sugar is the first blood sugar you take in the morning the minute you wake up. Or, well, not the minute, but before you eat, before you put any food or beverages in your body. So that number was taken just after, oh my god, I really slept in that day. Um, got up, had my shower, and then took it. Uh, it was, let's just say 11.30, I don't want to say the real time. Um, and it was 6.7. So a fasting blood sugar should be between 4.0 and 7.0. Now it is a bit higher on the scale than I would like. But it's still within range, so I'm going to take it. I honestly think if it's 6.9 or below, I'm laughing. The next question is what I ate for breakfast. So actually, what I did yesterday is I had my breakfast in two parts because I didn't have everything in my house. So I ate the first half, which was a Quaker protein oatmeal, and the protein oatmeal replaces the um, weight control. It used to be called weight control. Now they call it protein. Okay, So I had that. Uh, cooked with uh, skim milk, and I had a apples and cinnamon uh, extends bar. Extends bar are really great, especially if I'm going to the gym or if I'm not going to be eating for a while. They really help me manage a consistent blood sugar, and they're developed for diabetics. So I had that. Then about half an hour later, when I got towards the gym, um, I had a banana, a uh, medium-sized banana, and, and an iced tall skinny vanilla latte, which is skim milk, espresso, and sugar-free vanilla syrup. So that entitles my whole breakfast. It is the right amount of carbs for me. It's perfect. I love it. It's about 44 net grams of carbs. Okay, 46 net grams of carbs. And it's about um, 485 calories. So it's right on target. The next question is two ways I lived healthy today. So I would say one is um, mentally I was able to work through a lot of the emotions that I had been feeling, like the stress and all that, and the struggling with my health and wellness. So I've been able to work through that. And um, definitely number two would have to be I am got a plan in place and I'm ready to go and I stuck to it. Next question, what fitness do I have planned or have I done already for today? So considering this video is for yesterday, I did a personal training session with Cree from West Coast Fitness. My last one with him, sad, he's leaving. And I did a 45 minute stationary bike workout last night. And I also did 40 crunches, 20 standard sit-ups and uh, 20 bicycle crunches. And I did 10 leg lift crunches, so a total of 50. Where the legs go up like this and the butt goes up and then they come back in and shoot out, and then up like this, really tough. So 50 in total, and I also did 15 man push-ups as well. So love that. So great cardio and strength for me. The fredgies I had in what types? Well, I had a banana, which was one fredgie, and I had four servings of um, my 50-50 mix. What that is, is half of it is a spring mix salad, um, really fresh, organic, safely spring mix. And the other half is spinach, chopped, fresh, ready to go spinach. So it's half and half tossed into a salad. So I had four servings of that, which makes my five fredgies for the day minimum. My water intake, um, my water bottle, the green one I have right here, which you've seen with my fiber water, is 24 ounces. Um, I had four of those on top of a water that I had at Starbucks in the morning. So, which is about another one of those because it's 24 in a venti. Yeah, so I had five 24 ounce bottles of water. Really good. My sleep amount. Well, that night I had slept in really late, just needed it. So I must have had it about nine hours. So I'm really happy with that. Any other glucose numbers? Well, I'm pulling it up now. I had one other one that I took after dinner last night, but just because I wanted to see how it was. And it was at 8.42 p.m., which is one and a half to two hours after dinner. And it was a 5.9 mmol per liter. So after dinner, you want to be between 5.0 and 10, which I'm really happy about the 5.9. I cannot convert that to the American. America does it like 0 to 
350 or something, whereas we're 0 to 10 or 0 to 15. So you just have to type it in. It's M-M-O-L slash M-D-G or whatever the American version is. So go to one of those glucose converters and you'll type it in. Next one is currently I am feeling. Well, I am doing this as of yesterday's video. And at the end of the day, I felt really great. I honestly just felt great with a big smiley face because I was so happy that my day one on this new trans on this recommitment went so well. Um, one to ten, how did my day go? I'm honestly going to give it a, a nine and a half. I was so pleased. Um, I felt that I did well. I got exercise. I stayed away from the pop. I didn't have ice cream. You know, blah blah blah. Everything went great. So I'm going to give it a nine point five out of ten. One way I can do better tomorrow. Well, um, I think especially for today is that I need to put more. This one's hard to answer because uh, tomorrow is today and it's already almost at the end of day two. But I'm going to say that I needed to, I felt like I needed to get more products and supplies for my, to be able to take stuff to work. And I was able to do that today. So that's great. And one positive comment about myself. Well, this is probably the most obvious one. If it's not, it is. That Well, then it is. It's the fact that I was able to do 15 man push-ups from doing 12 last week. So I was really excited about that. So that's how my day went. And I'm so excited. On to day two. Thanks, everybody. And I will be back with my day two video. Bye.